Hey guys, this is Tatolyong, and here are 10 meta tricks that you should know in Dora 2. Vengeful Spirit has become one of the strongest offlane meta picks in the recent months. Getting Aghanim Scepter gives you 2 lives. You get to aggressively swap your enemy to secure a kill, and once the enemy kills you, all your abilities get refreshed and you get to swap once again, securing 2 kills in almost any fight. When you're on your illusion form, you're technically dead, so you will be able to purchase items and swap them into your inventory when you're fighting with your illusions. Once you're respawned, your hero revives at the illusions location and your newly purchased item is with you. Easy clap. When you horn with Spectre, clicking reality on the ground will bring you to the closest horn illusion near your cursor. Agonim Scepter allows Spectre to do a single target horn on a solo target if you have vision to click on them. The Shadow Step also instant casts a Spectral Dagger on a target with only a 30 seconds cooldown. So this item kinda became a meta purchase for this hero. When you're using the single horn, you do not need to click on your illusion to swap places. Instead, you can ground click the reality anywhere and swap the position with your Shadow Step illusion. This is very useful when you're attempting to dodge spells as you are going on your target. Turning into a courier on Monkey King will give you 380 movement speed. Turning into anything but a courier will put you at 200 movement speed. Purchasing shard no longer slows Monkey during mischief, so you can press items like face boots to boost the movement speed during mischief. The best thing is, the boosted movement speed will not be removed even after the face boots buff expires. Magic. Agonims on Shaker now grants Enchant Totem a 40% cliff. When you purchase Agonims on Morphling and copy a Shaker, you can perform a range cliff. This will not work if Agonims Rubik steals Enchant Totem. Glyphnir has become one of the more popular core items on core heroes like Klings, Viper, Arcwarden, etc. I'm sure that most of you have tried using Glyphnir in the fog to reveal hiding heroes. But did you know that you can root invisible heroes without detection? You will not be able to see them, but the animation will lead you to the hero so you can pop detection and find them. Agonim's Morphling can copy Venge for the illusion on death. When you die after turning into Venge, you can use the swap ability even though it is an ultimate ability. When you are dead, you can purchase item from the base just like a Venge. Wind Ranger has a pretty OP shard ability, but your opponents can use it to initiate or get away when you blow them in the wrong direction. Instead of blowing the target towards your teammate, try blowing them perpendicular against trees, cliffs, and walls so your target will get stuck. Nature's Prophet got a new level 20 talent. A Sprouted target will have a 75% chance to miss their attack. And it doesn't really matter if the trees are there or not. If the trees are broken somehow, the effects still applies as long as the target is in the Sprouted position. Getting shot on Prophet will give you a higher chance to keep the target in the same position since the broken tree will turn into a trend and because of the 75% miss chance, it is not easy to kill the creep. The best part is, this whole thing goes through BKB. When you purchase Echo Saber on Jug with Shard, you get to slow your target for the first 2 hits as the Echo Saber goes on cooldown. When you use spells like Blink Strike or Tricks of the Trade on Ricky, the Echo Saber goes on cooldown as well. However, 
When you purchase it on PA, the target that you throw the dagger on will be slowed by the Echo Saber on top of the dagger effect without putting the Echo Saber on cooldown. This means that you get to triple slow a target with Echo Saber PA. Right clicking your opponents to proc Gemini attack will draw creep aggro. When you manually click Gemini attack on your opponents, no creep aggro will be triggered. The best way to lane with Weaver is to disable the Gemini attack and use it manually to win your trade. Thank you for staying to the end of the video. Shout out to my chats for supporting the channel. If you enjoyed my Dorosu content, hit the like, share, subscribe, and turn on notification, and I'll see you in the next video.